and Brock the Hawa, Rakatha, Yahusha, Brock the Hawa, Rakatha, Yahusha, Bahashan, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Manipulating the Word. Lord, will you are edified. What you are beholding are the apostles manipulating the word. Beginning with Apostle Tahar in the middle, Apostle Ara Yamlab, and Apostle Gabar. Okay? Manipulating the word is a form of spiritual power which starts with faith. Okay? Case in point. Mark 9 and 23. Yahushua said unto him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Our belief is based on our faith, which is a gift given to us by Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, right? Let's get that. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, right? Hence the grace period. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. So our faith is going into our beliefs, going into our thoughts, all right, is inspired by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, okay? Matthew chapter 17 and 20. And I will read this from the NLT. You don't have enough faith. And this is Yahusha speaking to the disciples. Yahusha told them, I tell you the truth. If you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there and it would move again move from here to there and it would move nothing would be impossible right now again spiritual power starts with our faith okay now the focal point for this lesson is manipulating, right? And according to the etymon, manipulating goes into the origin of manipulate, right? And manipulate means to handle skillfully by hand. Again, to handle skillfully by hand. This is an example of manipulating the word. Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show yourself approved unto the Most High, a workman, referring to the prophets, that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Let's read this in the NLT. Work hard so you can present yourself to the Most High, 
and receive his approval, right? Be a good worker in this truth, right? One who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth, rightly dividing the word of truth, meaning correctly explaining the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah in the form of manipulating the word. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. For precept, meaning scripture, must be on scripture or precept. Scripture on scripture, line on line, line on line, here a little and there a little. This is a form of Handling the word skillfully. Okay? Also, another definition as to manage by mental influence. To manage by mental influence. And this comes from what? Ezekiel. Chapter 37, verse 5. Thus said the Lord power unto these bones, Israelites. Behold, I will cause breath, the Salakia, meaning or referring to the Holy Spirit, to enter into you, your mind, our minds, and you shall live. Right? Breath, according to the Hebrew, is Strong's H seventy three oh seven, Ra, Wa, Ka, right, which means wind, breath, spirit, mind, via the Holy Spirit. We are one with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right. As inspiring a static state of prophecy, inspiring also means what, according to the New Oxford, right? Um, the sources. Influential. Influential goes into the origin of influence, right? Meaning, we are influenced by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, via the Holy Spirit. And therefore, we are manipulating the word in righteousness, okay? Last precept, Revelation 5 and 6, and I, referring to John the Revelator, beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, the four archangels, right, and in the midst of the elders, the 24 elders, stood a lamb, referring to Yahweh as it had been slain. Meaning, after the 
crucifixion, Yahusha gave up the spirit and reported to the spiritual realm, right? Having seven horns, meaning what? All power. And seven eyes, all knowing, which are the seven spirits. Seven, meaning what? Completed or completion of the Most High sent forth into all the earth at the allotted time. And the reason why I brought Revelation 5 and 6 is because without Revelation 5 and 6, you cannot have Ezekiel 37 and 5. Okay? So through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, right? We are manipulating the word, which is a form of spiritual power, right? Beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone. Lord will you were edified, Shalom.